Country. It's Miss Self as your school counselor and today I'm going to be reviewing my Hello New Year lesson with you. So this is targeted towards grades two through five and we're going to be talking about things like optimism and what it means to be optimistic and how to have a hopeful attitude. And then we're also going to go into um, depth about smart goals and talk about hopes, dreams, and goals. So that's what Hello New Year is all about. Hello New Year, a year of awesome. So our agenda is to review what does it mean to be optimistic, how to have a hopeful attitude, smart goals, hopes, dreams, and goals. And we're gonna complete those sentences. So first off, optimism. What does it mean to be optimistic? If you are optimistic, you are a positive thinker and you believe that good things will happen. Optimism is not always seeing the positive, but rather believing that problems are temporary and actions and attitude can help. So on the next slide, we're gonna watch a little story about Mojo and we're gonna follow him on his journey to optimism, all right? So I'll let you guys watch now. It was a beautiful day at the school field and day one of the Monster Olympics field day was about to begin. And they're off for the three-legged race. It's a close race, but there, it's Mojo and Katie, surging ahead right into second place behind Teresa and her three legs. We were so close. Don't worry, Mojo, Frisbees are next. Frisbees? How hard can that be? Just then, they heard the voice of their teacher. Snack tables open. Whoa, ice cream sandwiches. Best day ever. Mojo made a beeline for the snack table. He was so excited that he didn't quite see what lay in front of him. Oh no. When Mojo saw what he had done, he was devastated. And his devastation quickly turned to dread. Mojo realized that everyone would remember this forever. His friends, his teacher, even people he hadn't met yet. Well, we'd love to hire you, Mr. Mojo, but uh, what's this on your permanent record about ruining the ice cream sandwiches? I'll only have one option. There'll be no home but the open road for Mojo, the ice cream ruiner. Snap out of it, Mojo! Katie shook Mojo awake. Oh, Katie, I don't want to be a biker rebel! A what? All my friends hate me. I'll never get a job. I'll have to drift on a bike from town to town. A monster without a place. And what kind of monster is that, Katie? That's a crazy story, Mojo. That's not a story, it's the truth! Look at the photo from my Katie drone. You definitely fell. That's a fact. It's in the picture. I don't see anyone who hates you. It's just something you imagined, like a storybook that you drew. And my failed test? My permanent record? My future as a biker? All stories, Mojo. Stories that make you feel bad, even though you made them up. So you're saying, it's not what actually happened that's making me sad, but my story about what happened? But just then, Katie was called away to race her Katie drone in the 100 drone dash. And Mojo was left wondering, were all his fears just a story? What made stories different from facts? And could a made-up story make you sad? Interesting questions indeed. Mojo had slipped and spilled all the ice cream sandwiches at field day. He was sure that everyone would hate him forever, until Katie told him it was only a story he was telling himself. But he didn't quite understand. 
Just a story? I mean, I guess it could be. Ah, uh, I wish I could talk to Katie more. Where did she go this time? I guess she's busy. Or, or maybe Katie secretly hates me too. She's probably just too nice to say it, and she left on her own. Katie did leave. That's a fact. Just like how I spilled the ice cream. And they happened right after each other. She doesn't like me. She won't ever like me again. Katie had been nearby giving her drone a pep talk before the big race. Until she spotted something by Mojo. Mojo, look out! Huh? Ah! Katie, you're back. Where did the snake come from? Mojo, your story's created a story snake. A, a story snake? What's that? When you tell yourself a bad story, it doesn't just stay in one place. It spreads. And if you tell it more and more, it even stretches. It's coming after me. You can't run from a story snake, Mojo. It follows as long as you keep telling it. Oh, great. Just like the ice cream. It never forgets. First, I spilled the ice cream. Now I ruined field day with a giant snake. To forget field day, I ruined the entire field. If everyone didn't hate me before, they definitely will now. Mojo, don't give in to your crazy stories. You have to fight it or the snake will take over. Really, I hadn't noticed. Uh, help me, Katie. The story's so big, it's eating me up. Literally. I can't help you, Mojo, but I know who can. Katie! You can't run from a bad story. You need something that fights it. Something good. Something like this. But what do you think? Can the stories you tell yourself really be as powerful as Katie says? Have you ever told yourself a bad story? And what can you do to fight a bad story? Mojo's stories had gotten out of control at field day. They were about to eat him for breakfast, but then... Who are you? I'm Mongoose Man. Does that mean you're half mongoose and half man? No time for chit-chat, kid. We got a story snake to deal with. You, you can fight the snake? How? Remember your story, Mojo? Yeah. I said spilling the ice creams would make everyone hate me. How'd you feel when you told that story? Pretty bad. I don't want to have no friends and be a jobless biker rebel. Then change it, Mojo. Change it into a better story. When I was young, I lost my parents in a mall. Didn't know where they were. First, I imagined I'd have to live alone in the mall forever. It felt pretty bad to think about that. But then, I imagined that losing my parents made me harder. Determined to fight injustice, and also snakes. And I became... The Mongoose Man. That's great, but uh, what do I do against my snake? Just think of a story that'll make you feel good when you hear it. Um... Uh... Just start by saying, what if? What if? If the melted ice cream seeps into the grass and then it grows into ice cream plants? You gotta believe it could really happen and still make you feel good. Well, what if no one saw because they were too busy with other things? Maybe someone in class doesn't like ice cream. And they don't even care! If I've learned one thing about story snakes, it's that when you get down to it, they're just full of hot air. And maybe my friends don't care no matter what I did. Because my friends always stand by me. Okay, my little mongoose. Dinner 
time! Not now, Mom! Uh, I'm Mongoose Man! He's the hero we deserve! But what I really need right now is some food! And, as if on cue, Mojo and Katie heard the familiar voice of the teacher. Hey everyone! Guess what I found! She found a box of ice pops. And there were plenty to go round. Soon, no one even remembered that Mojo had spilled the ice creams. What kinds of positive stories have you told yourself lately? Do you think they can really overcome your negative stories? And what positive story could you tell about the rest of your day right now? Mojo could have saved himself so much stress if he just had a hopeful attitude. So remember, problems are temporary. Here are some activities that can help you gain a positive attitude. One, loving kindness and meditation. Two, helping others. Three, setting and achieving goals. Four, sharing positivity. And five, practicing positive affirmations. Well, now we're going to transition into discussing SMART goals. So SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Timely. So we have to make sure that our goals are all of these things. And now we're going to watch a little video that goes more into depth on that. All people have dreams, but how do we make those dreams real? At first, it may seem impossible, hmm. so let's start small. Setting a goal gives us a target that we want to reach. Setting smaller goals as part of a larger goal makes it easier to follow all the steps, so we're not trying to do everything at once. Each task takes work on its own. When we succeed at these smaller goals, it inspires us to keep working towards the long-term goal. If we try to reach our goal alone, it's easy to give up. Other people help encourage us and help us find easier ways to complete each task. Most goals require hard work and practice. Don't give up when the going gets tough. It can be discouraging. When you feel like giving up, take a step back. Think of how far you've come since you started. Is it really worth giving up all your progress? Remember why you started in the first place. Nothing matches the feeling of reaching your goals. Now that we've watched that video, I want us to try to complete these sentences. You can either write it down or just think about it in your head. So this year, I hope that I am curious to learn more about and something I am grateful about this year is. Next, I have a little positive meditation that I want all of us to listen to together so we can start this year off on a positive note. Today is a new day. It's going to be a good day. I'm going to make the most of whatever comes my way. I'm going to get everything done that needs to get done. Today is going to be a good day. I'm breathing, my eyes can see the beautiful sky, my body is healthy and beautiful, today is going to be a good day. I can love, I can sing, I can walk and run and play.
I can laugh till I cry and I can cry until I'm happy because today is going to be a good day. Hmm. It's a new day. It's going to be a good day. I'm going to make the most of whatever comes my way. I'm going to do everything that needs to be done. Today is going to be a really good day. I'm breathing. My eyes can see the beautiful sky. My body is healthy and beautiful. Today is going to be a good day. I can love, I can sing, I can walk and run and play. I can laugh till I cry, and I can cry until I'm happy again. Today is going to be a good day. Mm. I can feel it. Today is going to be a really good day. I hope you're all feeling positive and refreshed and remember your counselor is always here to help.